Okay, sup YouTube. Evidently, the new update for iLiberty, which I uh, showed you in the in my other video, I used an older version, and the new version, which is now out, won't install. It doesn't have the option to install installer. It'll just uh, it just gives you the option to install Cydia, which is like installer, but it's not gonna let you do like. I just prefer installer. It's a lot easier, in my opinion. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the new iLiberty program to also install installer. So first off, just uh, double click on the application and wait for this to go by. This probably isn't going to flash by on yours, just because it's not set up to do this. The next step is going to show you how to make it do that. Okay, so go to the top go to tools, go to options. And right now, put a check next to check repo at startup. And then this is just up to you. I like to uncheck ask before quit. And then just hit OK. So as you can see here, before uh, in my other video showing you how to jailbreak, I told you to put a check in jailbreak and a check in installer. As you can see here, installer's not there anymore. It's now Cydia. So this is what you gotta do. You gotta go to in hit the advanced tab at the top and then go down and hit the local tab on the bottom. Now scroll through here. Installer might already be in here but for it, it, sh it shouldn't be in here. You might have a weird computer and have it be in here but as you can see installer's not an option here. So then click on the Available on Repo tab on the bottom. Now, you might not have anything here. If that's the case, then go back to Tools. Or no, sorry, not to Tools. Just hit the Refresh button here, down here, and this will pull up. And refresh that, and you should have a list here. So what you got to do is just scroll down through the list to where it says Installer. So there's installer, so what you got to do, put a little check box, fill in the little check, and then for some reason you can't just hit the download button. It won't work. So instead, come over here to manually download. And it'll show you two uh, directories, two websites to go to, and this directory, C Program Files iLiberty Payload. So what you got to do is just highlight the first w website on the first line and hit copy to clipboard and then open up your favorite internet browser. I use Safari. Doesn't matter what you use. You can use Opera, Internet Explorer, Firefox. Use whatever you want. And then just right click and paste in that website that you copied from the iLiberty program and hit enter and this is going to download this file to your desktop or wherever you tell it to save. Mine auto saves to my desktop. So I'm just going to X out of that. Then go back to the iLiberty program and highlight your second one. Click copy to clipboard. Go back to your internet browser and right click paste, and hit the enter key, and this will download, and just X out of that. So now go back to your desktop, and, hold on, let me go back to my desktop, and as you can see here, oh wait, oops, I accidentally copied the same one twice. So, if you accidentally do that, you should end up with two files. One says 88installer.sh. There's that one. And I accidentally downloaded it twice. So, hold on. Let me delete that extra copy. And then get the other file. The other one is called, I believe it's installer.zip. So, hold on. Let me do that again. Installer.zip. And if it's not, because I'm pretty sure I did do this right, so just instead of using the copy to clipboard button, just right select it, right click, and hit copy. That should work. And then go back in, right click, 
paste, hit the enter button, and there you go, it's, ins it's downloading installer.zip. So now you just gotta wait until that finishes. And it's not terribly big. And uh, once that's done, just X out of your browser and go to your desktop or wherever it is that you saved everything. So right here is where it went. So I'm going to just drag it out here. As you can see here, you should have two files. It's 88installer.sh and installer.zip. Now once you've got these two files, then hit the start button and navigate to go to computer, or might say my computer if you're on XP. Now what you gotta do is navigate to this path right here. So as you can see it's C program files iLiberty payload. So go to C and then program files scroll down till you hit iLiberty then go into payload and then minimize that, go back to your desktop, grab those two files, and just drag them into this payload folder. And this will pop up if you're on Vista. And it'll finish. So there you go. Now just X out of that folder and open up iLiberty again. Just hit close there, and now exit out of iLiberty, and then boot iLiberty again. Let's just double click, hit allow. It's going to re refresh your sources. Now, as you can see, installer's not there. What you gotta do, just place the check in jailbreak, then hit the advanced tab, hit the local tab and hit it, put a check, installer should now be in here. Just place a check in installer as well, and then once that's done, just hit the go for it button. As you can see, I can't hit my go for it button just because I don't have my iPod plugged in right now. Just not plugged in. And I don't want to re-jailbreak mine just because I've already got it set up. And as you can see, it's like an hour long process ended up, hence the like eight different parts to my other video. So now sh that's how you get installer instead of Cydia. And when you hit the go for it, make sure that you haven't selected Cydia. Make sure there's only two checkboxes. One in jailbreak and one under the advanced tab. Check installer and then it should show up into the selected tab. So make sure it installer is checked in the selected tab and the jailbreak is checked. That's all you have to have checked and then to go for it and then just pick up from my other jailbreak video to set up 1.1.4 so that it'll work with all your applications. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck. If you have any problems, just post a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.